This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Storyblocks.com. In this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create an elegant and minimal looking slide animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition called this render as our main render comp. Let's switch to 1920 by 1080 that is full HD. You can also go with 4K if you want to. 30 FPS and 10 seconds long hit OK. Here we have our main render comp. Let's create new composition which is going to be our media placeholder. So I'll call this media underscore 01. You can use any image or videos, whatever that you want to use for this slideshow. Now let's drag and drop in our image. I'm going to hit S and scale this down just like so. Let's place it in the position that we want. Now let's go back into our main render comp and I'm going to create a background. So hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid called this BG for a background. And for the color, I'm going to go with um, this kind of an off whitish bluish tint. Hit OK. Then let's select the rectangle tool and double click to create a new rectangle. Let's go into rectangle, rectangle path one. And I'm going to unlink this. Let's scale this down a bit. All right, something like that looks good. And I can actually link this back again, create or bring down the size and give some roundness like so. And hit R and rotate this by 45 degrees. All right. Now we can actually go ahead and make this square instead of a rectangle. So I'm going to make this 1000 by 1000. All right, let's link this up and I'm going to place it into the position, something like that. And now I can increase the size just like so. All right. So that is looking good. Maybe I'll increase the roundness all the way up to 100. Yeah. So this is going to be our mask for the images. So I'm going to hit enter and rename this to mask. Drag and drop in our image placeholder. Drag and drop in our media composition below the mask just like that. And hit F4 and change the track mat of the media one to alpha mat. So we have something like this. Now what I'm going to do is make sure I'm image is visible the way I want it to be. So something like this looks good and I can go at around one second and 15 frames and animate the mask. So I'm going to select the mask layer, hit P, create a keyframe, go back and let's drag this out like so. Then let's go again at the keyframe, select the media composition, hit S to bring down the scale properties, create a keyframe, hit P to bring down the position properties, create a keyframe, hit U so we can actually see all the keyframes go back scale this up to around 120 and let's bring the position to the left a bit and now we have something like this which looks pretty lame at the moment so i'm going to select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph let's zoom in a bit select these points and drag the handle to the left like so then select this point and drag the handle to the right, creating kind of a peak into the center or something like that. So let's see what we get. So as you can see, we get this very nice and snappy look. I'm going to adjust this a bit like so. Yep. Really like the look. Maybe I'll move this a bit to the left. That is looking nice. Now I'm going to add a zoom in animation to our image. So I'm going to select this, go into effects and preset and add transform on this. Double click to apply that up. Go at the very start, create a keyframe on the scale property. Go all the way up to 10 seconds and scale this up to around 115. All right. So basically we have a constant zoom in as you can see for our image. 
Now, before we proceed further with this tutorial, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Storyblocks. Saving time is an essential part of our creative process and that's also where our sponsor, Storyblocks, comes in. Storyblocks is an ever-growing library of 1 million high-quality stock assets including stock footages, After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, music, images, sound effects and more. They offer high-quality 4K clips but also things like motion graphic backgrounds, overlays, high-quality animations and so much more. All the assets are royalty free so you can use your downloaded content anywhere for commercial and personal use. Storyblocks offers affordable subscription plan and a new video editing tool called Maker that scales up to meet your needs. I use Storyblocks myself for my client projects because with their unlimited all access plan I can download unlimited assets and I only have to pay one single price per year. So go ahead and check out storyblocks.com slash dope motions or click the first link in the description down below. So far so good. So in 3 seconds I want my second image to come in. So I'm going to select these two layers, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then go into the project file and make sure you make the duplicate of the media into the project panel and not in the timeline. So I'm going to select media 1, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. So now we have media 3. Let's rename this to media 2. And then I'm going to double click to open that up. Let's delete this image and use a different one that I have here. I'm going to scale this down. Something like this. Let's um, go into our main render composition and let's replace the media 1 with media 2. So I'm going to hold Alt and drag the media 2 on the media 1 just like so. And then we can hit U. So we can see the keyframe place a time indicator on the keyframe and let's adjust the position a bit. So I'm going to place it somewhere around there. All right. And then let's go back and move the position a bit like so. Then let's go to three seconds and move both these layers right here. So basically we have this nice reveal. So our first image and then our second image. Using this method you can create more and more images. You can create more and more slides basically of images. So both our image slides are ready. Now let's go ahead and uh, add some text here. So I'm going to select the text tool and let's type in a first text that is going to be photography. Okay, for the font, I will be using Heading Pro. I have mentioned the link in the description if, in case if you want to use the same exact font. I'm going to use a lighter version and make this all caps. Let's place this here, give it a nice dark black color. Alrighty, right. Let's hit Control D to duplicate it, put this below, and I'm going to call this Workshop. So, Photography Workshop, and make this bold basically. Also, I'm going to select both these texts and change the paragraph alignment into the center and properly align them. All right, let's call this workshop. I'm going to increase the size a bit. All right, so that is looking good. And finally, I will add the timing of the workshop. So it starts. Also, I'm going to change the font of this to integral. Bold maybe. Let's go with actually a medium. So it starts at 2 p.m. That looks good. Let's bring down the size and increase the spacing a bit like so. So that is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and animate our text. So I'm going to hide the images for now. Let's just focus on our text. So I'm going to select a rectangle and basically create, select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle and let's keep it something like that. All right, let's hide this and call this matte. Then select our photography text layer, go into effects and preset and type in set matte. And let's um, double click to apply that up. And in the take matte from layer, let's set this to matte. 
now we can animate our text and it's gonna give us this really nice masking all right so let's go to two seconds select the photography text hit p to create a keyframe on the position go back and bring that down then i'm going to select the second text that is workshop add the set matte effect again and invert the matte and set this to matte let's select the layer hit p for position create a keyframe drag that keyframe right here and let's move this to the top like so so basically we have this nice revealing text animation all right so i'll select the keyframes hit f9 to ease them go into the graph editor and let's create a peak into the center to add a nice movement so we have a subtle animation and it looks snappy as well at the same time so i'm gonna keep it something like that and let's see how it looks yep that is what i am looking for pretty nice and finally let's add some animation to our timing as well so i'm gonna hit p create a keyframe hit t create a keyframe hit u so we can see all the keyframes go back bring down the opacity to zero and move this a bit now i'm going to select this hit f9 go into graph editor and again um, create a peak into the center there we go looking good and i'm going to move this a bit so maybe around 15 frames and then i'm going to select all these three layers let's uh, move this to around two seconds all right so i'm going to hit a control and close them up let's turn on our image placeholders as well so let's see what we have here so that is looking pretty nice text reveal is starting a bit late but what i'm going to do is select the mask and these four layers and pull them a bit by around um let's go with 20 frames pull them at the back and let's animate our background so i'm going to select the background layer hit p create a keyframe go back and pull that out again select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph and let's add a smoother animation now usually i use keyframe wingman which is a free after effects script for this kind of animation but we can do this manually as well not a problem so there we have this nice animation as you can see and finally our background is looking very empty so let's add some nice text to this so i'm going to select the workshop text hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's change the color of this so we can identify it more properly and pull that at the back let's scale this all the way up like so and let's delete the set matte from here hit u and get rid of all the keyframes it may have and let's actually bring down the size a bit it's way too big and let's adjust this so i'm going to place the text right here let's set this to around 450 all right and i'm going to actually copy the text hit ctrl c and type in one more time so workshop looks something like that and let's place it right here i'm going to select it hit ctrl d to duplicate it pull this below Control D again. So now we have three copies. You can create more copies if you want to. I can adjust these three copies like so, you know, and then give it a nice white color. So we have a background for our basic design. And you can see already it's looking very, very nice. So let's animate it by adding a simple opacity animation on these texts. So I'm going to select this. Hit T, create a keyframe on the opacity, go back and let's set this to zero. I'm going to select the keyframes, hit F9. And now I can add some subtle movement to the text. So I'm going to select the first and the third text. Let's make some room right here. Hit P and um, let's create a keyframe on the position. Go all the way up to 10 seconds and move this to the left. So basically we have a subtle movement as you can see and same thing i'm going to do this with the second text but in a different direction so i'm going to actually go right here let's move this a bit create a keyframe on the position go all the way up to 10 seconds and let's move this to the right so basically we have an alternative animation for our text and as you can see already it's looking super cool so let's go ahead 
and finally add some touches to our complete design so i'm going to right click create a new adjustment layer call this cc for color correction go in effects and preset let's type in sharpen add that and add sharpen of 20 and let's type in curves or add curves and i'm gonna add some nice contrast to this let's switch to blue channel and i'm gonna add a little bit of bluish tint which i personally like and boom there we go our slideshow animation is ready to roll so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed the slideshow animation tutorial on after effects so we created a slideshow animation tutorial after a very long time so i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on instagram at dope.motions you can also comment down below if you have any tutorial ideas for my next tutorial and also make sure to check out storyblocks.com slash dope motions the link is in the description below and i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out